Herkese merhaba arkadaşlar. Ben Erdi Özağ. Donanım Haber.com olarak IFA 2015'te Sonistan'dayız. Burada özel bir röportaj yapacağız. Sony biliyorsunuz XPR Z5 ailesini duyurdu. Z5 Premium, Z5 ve Z5 Compact. Bu konular hakkında bilgi alacağız. Biz zaten video inceleme yaptık ama bir de Sony'nin gözüyle bu konuyu dinlemek istedik. Yanımızda da Sony'den ürün pazarlama müdürü, ürün pazarlama sorumlusu ya da ürün yöneticisi artık hangisini kabul ederseniz. Dayana Hernandez Gonzalez var. Kendisi Meksikalı bir arkadaşımız aynı zamanda. Ürünler hakkında konuşacağız. So Dayana, first of all thank you very much for being with us today. This is really a pleasure for us. Thank you, thank you for coming to our booth and we are more than happy to show you our new lineup here in IFA. So my first question is going to be about your the Z5 family. So which features makes Z5 family different than the older generation Xperia Z series? Well, we are bringing the first uh, 4K display in the smartphone. So that's uh, a technology that's brand new, uh, coming from the expertise of our Bravia engineers, working together with our Xperia engineers. And we are more than happy to show a 5.5 inches display uh, that brings all the 4 quality, 4K quality in the smartphone. Um, on top of that, uh, we are aware that uh, probably not all of the contents are 4K now, although we see a trend going that way. Uh, we have an upscaling capability, so you can enjoy a, ver a better viewing experience even if the native content is not 4K as such. Mm -hmm. So, do you think 4K screen in smartphone makes sense for the customers? Um, yeah, actually we had a lot of uh, research before launching this product and we know that there there's a lot of uh, increase in content uh, consumption um, of uh, videos and TV series and um, movies and also uh, little by little we're seeing the trend of 4K increasing with more uh, content being created so I believe uh, we're we are kind of the first moving into that area that we see um, will be a, a huge trend in the future so this this uh, device will be uh, kind of a very good answer to those early adopters and those people that's kind of uh, in search of this uh, type of innovation. Um, definitely answering some of the uh, demands. So the reason why I ask that question is uh, it is not so easy to see differentiation or um, differences between the 4K display and the, for example, Full HD display because in user interface there is no differences. But if you want to see the differences between the 4K and the Full HD, you have to watch 4K movie, for example, or you have to uh, try to see some pictures mm -hmm. in the uh, album application. So, uh, on the other hand. Some people say that 4K display also affect the battery consumption because uh, it is four times more provide more uh, pixels density. So, do you think it affects battery uh, consumption? Well, actually, uh, we had a lot of uh, research and development in that area. So, as you, if you remember, in the previous generation of uh, set a series, we already perform or outperform our competitors with a two-day uh, battery life. Uh, that's because we are capable of uh, making the battery performance uh, very efficient. Um, so, I think uh, before uh, launching this product, that was one of the main things that we were aiming to uh, make sure that was uh, tackled. Uh, in the sense of delivering the experience of the viewing in 4K without compromising the battery life. So what we did is uh, mm, we worked together with a kind of a Barabia team to develop ways of um, improving the fission in the battery um, at the same time as the quality on the display wa was uh, available. So uh, in this product we are confident that we'll reach the uh, same standard of the performance that we've been delivering before and I think we are very happy. So that means, for example, Z5 Premium has more software optimization than Z5 because Z5 has the full HD screen and a slightly lower battery, cap uh, battery capacity than Z5 Premium. But you say Z5 provides two days battery and Z5 Premium also provides two day battery. Yeah, battery. all of them provide the two day battery uh, performance. And uh, the reason I being, it's one, of course, the efficiency uh, in the in the in the function itself and the architecture. But I think. Um, of course, we have a larger battery here. Uh, nonetheless, we had um, kind of the requirement of doing a little bit more of uh, an architecture and um, kind of uh, working a little bit more in the set five premium to deliver the same standards as, as the other one. But nonetheless, the portfolio um, 
keeps up that uh, that uh, target and and that performance in stamina. So I think it's it it just has to do with what the 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 product itself requires, and then we we do what it, whatever it's necessary to keep the performance going. So on the other hand, high resolution means it probably it affects the gaming performance, for example. So what can you say about gaming performance? For example, Z5 Premium provides gaming performance as fast as Z5, for example. I think uh, the gaming performance, it's the uh, same experience in all of them, so... Does it translate to the HD resolution? Uh, well, I think uh, in that sense, uh, the, the gaming uh, experience, uh, we try to make it seamless. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, I think, I mean, it shouldn't be compromised uh, mm -hmm. by any of the, of the products we present now, yeah. So what about the Z5 Compact? Because it is my favorite series. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no competition in this segment. Mm -hmm. So uh, for differentiation points, which features uh, makes this phone better than, for example, Z3 Compact? Uh, well, uh, first of all, we have the new camera module that we present in the whole lineup. So uh, completely new uh, hardware and software working together to deliver an even better experience in uh, creating images. Uh, so I think that's one part of the of the element. Uh, how we bring to life a faster sort of focus in a camera. Um, it's the first time we, we are delivering and it's the first time available in the smartphone area. Um, so I think for people that, that's really keen to have a experience a better experience uh, generating content. Um, uh, this is a, the, the whole family, the new uh, portfolio will deliver a, a, an even better uh, functionality in that area. Um, I think another good addition for, for the set uh, 5 Compact, it's a fingerprint sensor. So this is something that uh, it's all also for people that like this kind of form factor, which is basically playing around with, with it in your hand. Uh, it makes sense to have the fingerprint sensor because it's so natural. Um, we are aiming to to position the the sensor in a way that's natural and comfortable for for the for the user. So I think um, the consumers of this type of devices will really appreciate that mm -hmm. part. And also, this device is as fast as Z5, maybe faster than Z5 also, for example, because of the lower resolution. So let's talk about the camera because Sony makes the best and best camera sensors in the world. But when we look at the Sony smartphones, it is not the best in the market, according to my uh, benchmarks. For example, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5, you can take m more better pictures than, for example, Z3 Plus, I think so. So what can you say about the camera situation? I think, I mean, uh, what we are doing here is delivering the best um, in, in the Set 5 series. We are improving and of course there are um, difference in terms of release of products and then therefore uh, the, the kind of technology works so fast that we are kind of um, evolving uh, very, very fast. So I think um, when you try this phone, you will definitely see a high quality uh, output, a very, very good um, Performance in both uh, stills and video, mm -hmm. so I think uh, it will it will work to to check and, and test this camera. Mm -hmm. And the camera model completely renewed will definitely deliver good, very very good results uh, mm -hmm. here. So I think it's a matter of um, generations of uh, cameras, uh, but definitely this one it's uh, top of the mm -hmm. of the um, technology mm -hmm. in sensors. So with Xperia M5, Sony launched a new autofocus system. Uh, it is really fast. So Xperia Z5 series also the, also has this, uh, have the same autofocus system or better. Well, actually, uh, being uh, the flagship, we uh, bring both um, the ca the hardware and the software at the top uh, of the of the line. Uh, the principle of the system itself is the same, which is uh, a combination of the contrast and phase detection working together. Um, and the performance of, of the speed in the premium, uh, in the premium family is 0 0.03 seconds, um, which is the fastest in the industry um, as such. Um, so I think um, it all has to do with the whole architecture of the product. So uh, the sensor working with the processor and everything uh, going uh, up to the lens part of the uh, hardware uh, makes makes the, the experience even better in these in these devices so also some people criti uh, criticize about your cam camera system because only the Sony still does not have the optical image stabilization in the camera system so you have the steady shot function 
yes. but it uh, makes stabilization in software optimization. So what can I say about well, this com company? Uh, you will need to try this new camera module because we added one more element to the lens and also a closed loop actuator which basically absorbs the shock. Mm -hmm. So we are working both in hardware and software part of the uh, architecture in the camera to deliver uh, a very, very good performance. And especially in videos, we have uh, some material that will help you to understand it. It's not just about optical image stabilization, it's the whole um, proposition itself. And of course, we have the heritage of Handicam and years and years of expertise in here. So I think we managed to have both the exact amount of hardware required with the software that will make the experience even better. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we have some material to, to prove that. So let's talk about the feature with Xperia Z family. We will see the one year cycle for product updates or still six months period. Well, what uh, what what's uh, our appro approach here? It's to listen uh, to the operators, to our partners, and the consumer to define mm -hmm. when it's going to be the next uh, launch uh, for uh, for the series or for the product itself. So I think at this point we are just focusing on the announcement that it's been done now, mm -hmm. and in the near future or when we have uh, future announcements, we'll share them uh, when it's relevant. But mm -hmm. I think we're not sticking to one cycle itself. We are just hearing and um, responding as. Mm -hmm is required. So my last question is about your software strategy. Uh, I think for software updates, Sony is one of the best in the market because you already give the uh, Android 5.1 uh, to Z1. Mm -hmm. uh, so for feature, for Z5 series, you, when you will provide the Android Marshmallow? updates um, so um, at this point uh, we are still working on the timetable we will release that information as soon as it's available um, but we'll try to to bring um, the then user the best uh, the best timing possible so yeah so from top to bottom which phones from Sony side will get the Android marshmallow updates um, I think we will start with the uh, set 5 series and then we will be an announcing uh, afterwards the rest of the rollout so Diana, before ending our interview, do you want to say something to Turkish customers or Turkish audiences? Yeah. Well, uh, well, we just like to um, introduce to yourself this great uh, uh, family, and uh, we would like love to uh, see uh, how uh, Turkey receives this this uh, great new product, uh, great camera, battery performance that lasts uh, uh, for up to two days, and the waterproof proposition. That's always uh, our uh, flagship of the communication. So, um, happy to to share this with with Turkey. So Diana, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Evet arkadaşlar, bu videomuzda Sony'nin ürün yöneticisi Diana Gonzalez ile konuşmuş olduk. Önümüzde Z5 Premium, Z5 ve Z5 Compact var. Özellikle Z5 Premium'u Türkiye'de piyasaya çıktığı zaman gidin bir markette teknoloji mağazalarında deneyin. 4K çekili deneyin derim çünkü gerçekten de ekranı muazzam bir deneyim sunuyor. Bir sonraki videomuzda görüşene dek şimdilik hoşçakalın. Kendinize çok iyi bakın.